Well, hi there, this is DBT. And okay, this is going to be a little bit of a guide on how to install and how to play uh, Xandronum with QC Doom Edition, Quick Champions Doom Edition. Um, all right, so this is mostly for the people that are not familiar at all on how this whole thing works. So I'm just going to go step by step, literally from scratch, so that you can see how to set it up and how to get it running, how to join servers and things like that. All right, so the very first thing that we need is the engine that we're going to be using for multiplayer. That's Sandronum. Uh, just Google it, and it's going to be the very first result. You can download it from here, but let's just go to the main page. Uh, Sandronum, and here's a little bit of info, whatever. Um, you just need to go to download. And in this case, we're going to be looking at the information for Windows. I don't know how to do uh, Linux or... or um, Mac OS, so let's just go with Windows. Also, by the way, uh, my operating system is in Spanish, so you might see a couple of things that look very different, but you know, you get the idea. Windows just doesn't allow me to change the, the language, but okay. Let's just download this one that says Installer Bundle with Doom Seeker. Don't download this one because this is just the engine. We need Doom Seeker too, so go with this one. Um, put it in, uh, in this case, for example, I decided to put it in, 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 in this folder called games in the desktop. This is the desktop. Uh, let's just create Sandronum folder and okay, download it. Now you can just go from here to show in folder or, you know, you just go to the regular folder and whatnot. Let's just go over there. Games, Sandronum, and there it is. This is the installer. Just double click on it. Um, and if Windows asks for permission, just allow it, just like this. Um, it'll start in a second. Okay, where do you want to install it? Well, I want to install it in the same place. So you just go to, to browse, um, and <laughs> desktop, games, Sandronum. And you can leave this one associate pwod files. Um, doesn't really matter. Don't click on this one in particular. Just go with it. It'll. This is installing, of course, only the engine. You still have to to copy two more things, and you can see I actually created a shortcut for it. This is a shortcut for for Doomseeker, but we'll get to that. All right. So this is the engine. Now we also need the internal Doom two files. So in this case, I'm going to show you how. Uh, let's assume that you already bought Doom two from Steam. It's like five dollars or something like that. So I go to my Steam and there it is, Doom 2 Hell on Earth. Now what you need to do is copy one file from the installation. If you don't know where Steam installs all this stuff, just right click on Doom 2, Properties, Local Files, and here it is, Browse Local Files. Then in here go to Base and look for the one that says Doom2.wad. This is the main file that contains all the data for, for the game, for Doom 2. So you just copy paste. So let's go with copy. I could do Control C, Control V, but you know, I want to be very, very visual on what I'm doing. So copy, uh, put it on your Sandronum folder with paste, and there it is. Now you will be able to run Sandronum and will recognize this file, and we're going to be playing Doom 2. Actually, let me show you that quite quickly. And there we go. We have um, a horrible quality. Uh, this thing. Let me just go full screen off. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go like this so that uh, the whole recording doesn't go all crazy with the resol resolution and all. Though I'm gonna go with set video mode and let's go with. At this point, what I'm doing is just increasing the resolution of the thing so that you can see it a little. Here we go, so you can see it better. All right, we'll get to configuring this a little later. All right, so that's Sandronum and that's Doom 2, but we're still missing QCDE. Well, you just Google it. Go Quake Champions Doom Edition. Sorry if the keyboard is really loud. I put it as far as I can from the microphone, but you know. Um, all right, so it's gonna be pretty much the first result. Uh, Quake Champions Doom Edition mod database. This is the one we need. All right, so this is the, the, the page. Um, here you can read a lot of information if you haven't caught up with all that stuff. And um, But we need to go to files. Now there's four main files. We need all four of these. So let's just do that. Um, I'm not gonna show the whole download because sometimes it can be a little slow, but you just click on do download now. 
and it will start automatically. Now, here's something important. If for some reason the game, I'm sorry, the, this place tells you that you need to log in in order to download this and you don't have an account, don't worry. That's actually sort of a bug in the set, in the side of a mod database. Uh, let's just put it here. And in that case, all you have to do is select uh, try another mirror and it'll let you. Okay, maybe I'll show you the downloads. It should download fairly quickly. Okay, so now the map set, this is uh, the maps is specific for QCDE. So let's say that it's not a starting, it's asking me, you just go to another mirror and select another one. And go ahead and download it. Now we need the QCDE. Wait, which one did I? ANQCD. Okay, I downloaded this one. Now I need this one. Yeah, it's. Uh, you have to download all four files, particularly if you want to play online. That's that's the main thing. So just wait for it. It will automatically start. Download it. And let's download the very last one, the soundtrack. This is sort of optional, but for our servers, we have it on, so uh, we suggest you to. Oh, and besides, the music is awesome, so why not download it? That's the real question. All right, just a second. Here we go. Okay, so that's it. We have downloaded just about everything that we need. Now, how to install QCDE? Because now I have downloaded the files, but I still need to, to install it. All right, I'm waiting for the download. Here we go, all files have been downloaded. So let's just minimize this too. And oh, we don't need this one anymore. So we're again in our main Sandrinum folder. Let me sort by type. And here we go. Here's the four zip files that I downloaded. So all I have to do is literally go one by one. And well, you can just, depending on what software you have. I have WinRAR, so it's very easy to just right click and extract here. But let's just, for the sake of showing, um, open it and extract all sorts of nonsense from here. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, here we go. So just extract that, extract that too. Mm, the music. I don't know, my mouse is work, be behaving a little weird, but oh well. And finally, the actual QCDE mod. As you can see, it has a lot of stuff. Now. I would suggest you to take a read on, on the files. I, I added a, a lot of information. There's the changelog, there's the frequently asked questions um, with really, really frequently asked questions. I get those every other day. Here's uh, the readme. Oh no, actually this doesn't matter much for, for users. Um, the quick guide. It has some of the information that I'm going to be explaining in this video or maybe in the next one. I might split it into two videos. And I also included a um, RTF file, which is a, another, here we go, the full text guide. I mean, the full guide. This has a lot, a lot of information on the mod, on the features, what it does, the abilities, the champions, the weapons. It does have a ton of information that is really important. Um, so you might want to take a read, but I know that a lot of people don't. This is for people who actually take the time to do it. But anyway. Let's just go on. All right, so this is it. I have um, installed everything that I needed. So now I can play uh, QCDE for single player, no problem. And that is by just um, single player. Yeah, you can just go with this bad file that it's extracted from the files I downloaded. If, it's, if it tells you that it doesn't want to do it, just allow it anyway. Trust me, it has no, no viruses or anything. And here we go. It's a starting. Now let me download the vo I mean, let me lower the volume because Jesus, this is loud. I'm lowering this much because I know the values that I need for when I'm recording, so there's that. Alright, so now we have this running. Now it looks a little bit like shit, and that is because the engine by default is running on software render. Um, so you may want to change that. For that, go to, that's the very first thing that I think it's important to do because if you start a game with this, the, the colors are going to be very, very Doom-like and some stuff might look a little weird and when you look up, it, it's weird, you know? The sharing, sharing, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, so let's just change the renderer that you want to do that because 
if you're in this type of render in software render which is the default you can lock you can't look all the way up you see I'm it's weird so go to all options and set video mode and here it is render change it to OpenGL now it says that you need to restart the, the, the game for this to take effect so let's just do that alright so let's just run it again this time it will be running in hardware render and you will be able to tell immediately I'll just wait for the for this, the title screen so that you can see that the colors look better now what happens is that the software render is limited to 256 colors, which is what the original Doom used. Hardware render used true colors, that's millions of colors, so there we go, this is how it should look. And now you can start a game, and you will be able to, to look up and down, all the way up, all the way down, no problem. So there we go, and the colors are what we need for this mod. Okay, so that's as far as... Um, single player now as you see we added three bad files the three um, batch files so that was just single player you can go single player plus music which is gonna run again if it asks you this is it only asks you the first time that you run one of these. so allow it and this is gonna run the mod plus our music files so here comes the music Yeah, so it's a music randomizer, so you can just go crazy with that. All right, and the last one is Aeon plus QCD Emaps. This is for when you want to play multiplayer, uh, but this is specifically when you want to play multiplayer by yourself, mostly. Um, should I show that? I suppose I should. Okay, let's double click on that again, allow it. And I, uh, again, it only asks to do that the first time that you... Uh, that you run this so now if you start it's gonna look just like a regular single player thing but here's where you can start setting it up for deathmatch and all that stuff um, I'm not gonna show that right now I just wanted to show how to install the engine and another thing that I want to show is Doomseeker so here it is doomseeker.exe just open it again allow and this thing what it's gonna do is search for any servers that that are um, running with any mods but as you can see before you start browsing for servers ensure that it's properly blah 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 configure you have to configure this stuff so in this case what you want to do is engines no actually it, it already set it up automatically oh that's cool that's cool um what else do we have to I think I think that should be it. Yeah, trust me, I'm not super good at Doom Seeker either. For a very long time, Doom Seeker didn't work for me. I did a lot of things, and it didn't work. Um, so it seems like it should run. So let's try. Okay, so this is. I'm just gonna open this a little further so that it's bigger. Um, all right. So this is Doom Seeker. So it's showing me a lot of of um, servers for other mods. For for example, over here, who done it? This mod or complex Doom invasion and whatever. In this case, what we need is check for the Quick Champions one. Well, QCDE. So in this part where it says search, just type QC and it'll automatically show you what's out there. As you can see, there are several servers already running. I'm just gonna run one of these. This is one of our servers, by the way. Uh, the France one. We have a couple in TSPG. But let's just run this one because there's already some some bots there. So I can see the server here, cool. What do we do? You just double click on it. And there we go. It will automatically load it and it will automatically join the game. And here we are. I'm spectating right now, but there's some bots fighting. So it's simple as that to join one of the servers. Of course, right now there's bots and not, not actual players. Um, so you may want to be checking constantly if there's players or if you want to bring players with you so that uh, we can play. All right, that's about it for how to run the thing. Um, again, you can choose any of the other servers that are around, depending on the ping that you have, what's better for you and whatnot. Oh, I can open this a little more so that you can see what they are. Um, yeah, I suggest you to open 
this one so you can see the full name for example over here it's a dual server a free-for-all server uh, a survival server that we have for and um, for example this is a good example of, of why Doomseeker is so good so I want to join this one survival which is cooperative with limited lives but I'm missing a web file one uh, evil text so what do I do well it actually allows you to download it immediately uh, do you want what secret to find the missing what's yeah I do so let's go with install it will download the files that I'm missing and then it'll allow me to connect so that's why Doomseeker is so good it shows you the servers and if you're missing a file and the server is available in the um, I don't know what it's called in the whatever it downloads it from it will download it and there we go I have joined a server I don't think I could join can I oh yeah I can so at this point I'm doing survival co-op it's just that easy so as you can see it's not really complicated but I still wanted to show because there's people that are not used at all to, to Sandronum and all this stuff so there we go just wanted to show that um, in the next video I'm gonna be showing how to configure some of the stuff so that the, the, the game runs as good as it needs to run or, or the configuration that, that you would need to adjust so that this is in optimal settings for, for QCDE. But in the meantime, thank you for watching. I hope this was useful. I hope the quality doesn't degrade too much and that you can see actually the text because I just know that um, Shadow shadow play doesn't go very well sometimes with the text and quality. But anyway, I'm rambling. Again, thank you so much for watching. In the next video, I'll explain some other stuff. But until then, see you later. That's horrible music.